guys, it's Tyrone Games, and today I'm doing a video. Finally, I haven't uploaded in like a week. Sorry about that, but I should be posting. Uh, I know I said I was going to post every other day, but I'm going to just be posting two times a week because it's pretty difficult to post with like school and stuff. So, yeah, let's get into the video. So, I'm in GTA single player mode right now, and. Uh, we're gonna be doing a mod modded cars video so there's three cars that we're gonna look at and um, we're gonna start it off with the Aventador so I'll come back whenever I have the Aventador okay guys so I have spawned in the Aventador right here this right, let me go in first person mode real quick so yeah basically what they do is they get these internal which is well, they get like a random car, but this one just happens to be the Zentarno. And then they put the new car model over it, so it turns into this. Which looks really nice. Very good. I think this is like one of the best car mods there is right now uh, in GTA. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and look at the interior of the car. Okay, copyright. Whoa. So, pretty nice interior. The steering wheel actually works on this one. Some of the other cars, it doesn't work. But you can actually see, like, the little uh, speedometer thing in the middle works. And it, like, all works, and it's pretty nice. And they completely, like, redid the whole uh, inside of the car. And as you can see over here, the mirrors actually do work, like, as I'm moving. It's not like the best quality, but it works a lot better than the other cars do. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. And I'm gonna go ahead and drive into Los Angeles Customs, and you can see what you can customize. No, I actually haven't seen what you can customize in this car, but um, this will be a first because I didn't get to look into it. All right, so you can do armor. I don't have the uh, armor. Uh, like everything unlocked yet, so you can put brakes on it. Your chassis. Oh, there's a little thing right there. You see, like uh, on the side right there, does that. Engine. You can get an upgraded engine. You can get new exhaust. Basically, like this Interno, Interno, because that's that's what this car basically is. doesn't do anything I think oh well you can see it kind of changes it if you look but that's like underneath the car so it doesn't do anything alright I think yeah see you can kind of see the lights are like messed up right there it has internal light internal lights and it like doesn't fit but that's like, whatever You can do the underglow and all that good stuff. Plate. You can do custom plate. You can respray it, obviously. Pretty nice. And you can basically do like most of this stuff. And you can change the color of the interior right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make it. See what else you can do. Skirts. Uh, kind of fits. Almost. Not quite. Kind of fits. Not like crazy. Spoilers aren't bad, really, except for uh, I guess this one, which obviously is, is for the Zentarno. But the rest look pretty good. I'm gonna put one on it. Do you move? Spoiler. You can change transmission. Well, it's fast. Turbo on it. I actually like this kind of wheel, but I wish you could like change the color of it without having to like uh, get a new um, wheel, like a custom wheel. 
On this one, when you tint the things, the windows, it tints the front, which I guess is a bug. But the mods are pretty new to uh, PC version, so it'll be better eventually. But these are pretty good considering that the game's only like a few months old for PC. So yeah, this is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and park it right here. Yeah, I really like this. I'll show you what it looks like with the uh, doors open. It has these internal uh, doors, of course. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, it has like those internal doors and everything. And it's basically like the Zintono. Let's see the Lamborghini logo. So yeah, let's go ahead and go on to the Nissan GTR. Okay guys, so I am back with the Nissan GTR, which I think this is actually the Nismo. Yeah, it's the Nismo. And this is of course gonna replace the LG RH8, which is based off this Nissan GTR. So it looks really nice just like the real life car um, I really like this one as well it's like they've been through over there uh, let's go ahead and look at the interior haven't seen the inside of this car yet actually yeah see the uh, oh, okay the uh, the steering wheel doesn't work with your hands properly which is kind of a problem but oh well and the, the mirrors don't work which isn't really a big deal, but yeah, I don't know. So yeah, you can see this pretty nice looking modded car as well. So let's go ahead and drive into Los Angeles Custom and see what you can do. Uh, let's see, oh, you can see like the bumpers don't really fit right there. Like that's obviously a glitch. And you can see these <laughs> don't really fit either. Yeah, you can see like all the stuff doesn't really fit engine you can upgrade it the exhaust does yeah, it kind of fits but it's like into the uh, model of the car you don't really want that yeah a lot of the customization does not work on this if you noticed uh, that one kind of kind of fits but not really and since since this car is made with a spoiler, the other spoilers that you can put on it look weird like that. And of course, so this car does have a lot of glitches and stuff, but it's still a really nice model. And it's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and drive it around. Let's see, it's pretty nice. Yeah, this car is very nice. Oh. I'll go back into the interior again so you can see that. None of this stuff really works in the interior. And I just noticed you can see the wheel over there. So yeah, a lot of stuff is messed up with this. But of course it is pretty new uh, mod and stuff. So it, there will be glitches. So now let's go ahead and go to the LaFerrari. Okay guys, so... This is the last car that I'm going to be showing in this video, and it is the La Ferrari. And this is, uh, replaces the Turismo R in, uh, regular GTA. Very, very nice car. Really like it. And the doors are pretty cool. I'll show you those real quick. Look, you can see it has the really cool doors just like in real life. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. So yeah, it replaces the Turismo R. I can show you the interior real quick of it. Alright, interior of it. Awesome, it's just like the uh, real thing. I really like the steering wheel. And you can see. It's really low, I don't know. Screw yourself against everything. But yeah, this car is sweet. So let's go ahead and look at it. 
look at the uh, customization on this car. What's wrong with her now? Alright, arms. See the exhaust. It doesn't really fit considering there's exhaust over on the uh, side right there. It'd be kind of weird if you had like six exhaust pipes, but see, I'm going to keep that off obviously. Uh, lights. Let's see how these are. See, these actually, they kind of fit in the car, but mm, not, not quite. This one also has the really uh, dark window glitch. So yeah, the La Ferrari. It's pretty sweet, <laughs> and it scrapes on the ground, just like the Tourism. Well, that's kind of weird, like the uh, headlights and everything also black out. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorites. Oh, that's, that's kind of messed up. If you uh, tint the windows, it makes it like completely black. So yeah. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite uh, cars right now. They also have like a Porsche 918 and stuff, which I could make a video on. Let's go ahead and park and look at all the uh, cars right next to each other. Okay guys, so these are the three cars that we went over. In the middle we have the Aventador with the cool doors, the uh, LaFerrari, and the Nissan GTR Nismo. So these are three very cool cars. Um, yeah, you, should guys, you guys should check them out if you uh, have GTA 5 on the PC version and uh, yeah I really like doing these mod videos there's a ton of mods like there's uh, I know there's like a jetpack mod and there is like Iron Man Spider-Man Batman I don't know if there's Batman but I know there's Iron Man and stuff all those kind of mods and stuff that I could do but just besides cars but there are a ton of ca car mods I could do as well and there's like a ton of maps I can download and all kinds of stuff I can do with mods. So if you do want me to do keep doing GTA 5 mod videos, make sure to leave a like, comment below, and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.